Melbourne's music scene is the best in Australia. I'm sorry. The perks of being back here in Melbourne means I get to listen to some pretty amazing live musicians. Two nights ago, I was able to go to Kate's show and Kate's show was an absolute treat. Her voice just has so much depth and she has so much control and I literally couldn't fault any note that she sang on Thursday night. So there I am chilling at the Malt House Theatre, enjoying Kate's show and all of a sudden Napalm from Hiatus Coyote shows up. Now if you don't know who Napalm is or who Hiatus Coyote are, please, please, please get well acquainted. They are a Melbourne band that sing contemporary soul and jazz funk kind of vibes and honestly they just epitomise what Melbourne soul music is and honestly just what it should sound like. They have been sampled by so many good musicians like Anderson Pack, Wale's used them, Kendrick Lamar, one of his producers loves using their samples. And yeah, when they aren't being sampled, you are in for a proper good vibe. So back to Kate's show. Napalm was literally just chilling with one of her friends on the side listening to Kate. And later towards the end of the show, I see Nay and her friends start to walk to the smoker area. And then I nudge my brother to say, you should go have a smoke and have a chat with them as well. Thankfully, he dragged me along and next thing I knew, I was talking to Napalm. To be honest, I learned a lot from that experience. Napalm and I come from completely different worlds in the sense that she is a professional musician. She's traveled the world, she's sang for Prince and her lifestyle is just very different to mine. But what was really cool was that as soon as I met her, she invited myself and my brother into her world. She introduced us to her friends, Kiki and Albert goes by Kid Heron on Spotify. Please check him out. He was a really, really chill guy when I met him and his music is pretty crisp. She then answered a bunch of questions that I had about her gigging life, about her traveling the world, working with so many famous artists. And the whole time she was so inviting and open and really genuine. And the thing that I really took back from it was that not only was she introducing me to her world, but she was very, very open to entering into my world. She was asking me very personable questions, asking my brother questions, just striking up random conversations about what our likes were, what our passions were. She seemed to be very interested if I had any music and Honestly, I genuinely think that she would have just listened to an album if I had it. It was really, really crazy. Also, within like two minutes of us chatting to her, she asked us if we were going to be at her show. And I just said, sorry, like I would, but your 830 is sold out, unfortunately. And she hadn't even asked me my name at this point. And so she pulls out her phone and on her note, she's just like, what's your name? I'll add you to the list and you can come tomorrow for free. And then on top of that, she looks at my brother, adds his name. And then she asks about my sister who's a musician. And then she adds her name. And then my fiance came and then she added her name. She was just so very generous, which I'm so thankful for. So yeah, we took a photo. I thanked her and that was the end of that night. So the night of a gig. See, I've never ever been put on a list. <laughs> I don't know what it feels like to go to the front of the line and say, I know so-and-so and automatically be let into somewhere. Friday night comes, we head to the malt house. We go to the ticketing area and she had all the tickets that she had promised. And luckily, as I grabbed my ticket, she was actually scheduled to go on. I look behind me heading to the stage and she locks eyes with me and says, oh my gosh, you made it to the show. Gives me a hug and then goes out and drops one of the sickest live show performances I have ever seen. I thought she was a real one when I met her, but when she sings, there's such a power and control that she has over her voice that just demands you to listen and just to be hit in the soul and feeling whatever she's singing about. Yeah, we rock through an hour of the show just being serenaded by her and her guitar. And then at the end of the show, we decided to go say hi. Crazily enough, she was more personable this time than she was the night before. So she's giving us hugs, she said hi, cracking jokes, asking us about things that we had talked about the day before. Then as we were saying bye, I was fortunate enough to give her a realist shirt. I gave her a quick explanation of what it was about and she seemed very humbled and thankful that I was able to give her a shirt. Again, she was very nice, took photos, gave her a hug, said goodbye. And so it ended up being a very, very perfect night for me. I learned a lot from Nay. She exemplifies everything that the realist is. 
there was such a realness in the way that she interacted with myself and my friends. And there was definitely a realness when she was up on stage just singing her heart out. And to be honest, I don't want a shout out from Nay. I don't need her to wear the shirt and post it on Instagram. I was just so happy to have met her and to witness the realest life being lived as a professional musician. That even if you tour the world, if you play for Prince and you're sampled by rapping gods, that the fundamentals of the realist life can be lived. This is a woman who, yes, has a very beautiful voice, who is pretty damn famous, but it's also a woman who's been through her own struggles, yet she gives the time to her fans, she always has time for her friends and her family, and, and she's just living life as her true, authentic self. Nay, if you're watching this, thank you. I wish I had a more special way of saying thank you, but I guess all I can do is just say that my encounter with you has inspired me to continue to push, to continue affecting the people around me positively, and to keep living as my real self. Yeah, business-wise, it does feel pretty crazy. I was expecting to meet Napalm five years down the line, waiting for myself to become someone or to make realist something big in order to talk to her. But I am five years ahead of schedule, which means it's all downhill from here. Damn, do I feel blessed to have met Napalm and just knowing the fact that she has a realist shirt is definitely one of the biggest highlights that I've ever experienced on this realist journey. Do I have any closing notes? Be yourself, be genuine when people say hi, and always be ready to represent your brand and pitch your brand to people that are willing to listen. So yeah, get on that Melbourne Soul vibe now.